What's up, Duelists? MD here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new Legendary Dragon decks that have just come out. Now, this is about the third year they've done this now, and I gotta say, this is by far the best Legendary deck they have come out with yet. Let's take a look in here in a back quickly, just to see what kind of decks we get here. So, as you see, we get Legendary Dragons of Atlantis, aka Dark Magician deck. We get the Cyber Dragon deck, and we get the Dimensional Dragon deck. So, pretty much Dark Magician, Cyber Dragon, Odd Eyes. Pretty much the best way to put it. And there's like a, there's a couple new cards in this, along with some really, really amazing reprints. Including for the Odd Eyes part, all the alternate arts for the Dimension Dragons. So, that's definitely really, really cool. And before I get any further, I just want to apologize for the fact that I've been kind of MIA for a, quite some time. Just know that with the whole hurricane incident, and there's also been a lot of, let's just say, personal stuff going on in my life that has been prohibiting me from making more of these videos. But I assure you, it's that I have not been, I have not been absent because I'm wanting to be. So I'm just happy to be back and showing you guys this amazing product. So as you can see here, like I said, Dark Magician, Cyber Dragon, Odd Eyes. Let's go into the Dark Magician one first. Um, actually, no, we'll leave that one for last because that one has the most hype behind it. Let's go with the Cyber Dragon first. Now, out of all of them, I gotta say the Cyber Dragon has the least amount of hype. I mean, it's not that. Well, I mean, it's. Uh, I would say this is kind of the least competitive one of them all, but there's still a lot of really cool reprints in this of some really good cards. Not so much really great cards to help Cyber Dragon. So, this is the new Cyber Dragon. Fusion monster, we have Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. And the materials are one Cyber Dragon monster plus one monster in the extra monster zone, which that's either monster zone, either yours or your opponent's. So that right there makes this very interesting. Cannot be used as fusion material, must first be special summoned from your extra deck by sending the above materials to the grave. You don't use polymerization. The original attack of this card becomes 1200 times the number of fusion materials used for its special summon. So pretty much. Some people were talking about this mainly because you can use your opponent's extra deck monster to special this, but that requires you playing a cyber dragon in your deck, which is kind of which it's not impossible, but it's pretty hard to tech in a lot of decks. So, outside of pure cyber dragons, I don't see too much of a use for this card, but it's still a really cool card for cyber dragons, and it definitely does help give cyber dragons a very decent boost. But to the side, we also get an ultra rare version of Cyber Repair Plants, Cyber Network, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. We get Cyber Dragon Infinity, really cool, never seen as an ultra before. And now we get into our common stuff, as, as you would expect Cyber Dragon, Dragon Zwei, Dre, another Cyber Dragon, we got another Zwei, another Dre, third Cyber Dragon, three Cyber Dragon Corn, that's pretty cool. So at least you get decent ratios of everything here. So we got a Proto Cyber, two Cyber Valley, two Cyber Phoenix, Dinosaur, two Elatin, Armored, Cyburn, get another Cyber Repair Plant, Machina Fortress, a third Repair Plant, that's really cool, Cybernetic Drag, I almost said Cybernetic Drag, Cybernetic Fusion Support, Evolution, three Evolution Bursts, ooh, three Power Bond, two Power Bonds, two Overload Fusions. Now we're getting into some really cool reprints here. Got a Future Fusion, Liminar Removal, another Cyber Network, Shadow Garnia, Storming Mirror Force. Now, these are the really cool ones right here. So we get Storming, Quaking, and Drowning all as common reprints in this. So that is was that's what caught my attention the most for the Cyber Dragon deck. As we, as we can see here, sorry about the tongue tied. We got all of our extra monsters. We got Cyber End, Cyber Twin. Chimera Tech Over Dragon, another Twin Dragon, Chimera Fortress Dragon, Chimera Rampage, we got, and two Novas. So we get an Ultra Infinity along with two Novas. So really, really cool to have right there indeed. Like I said, four Cyber Dragons is really good, and there is, are a lot of stuff that does help you with the deck. But as far as competitive goes, I would say that's the least competitive. But again, it has really awesome reprints. So let's go into the Dimensional Dragon or Odd Eyes one next. Now this one has a new card as well, along with some very good reprints. The new one here is going to be Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. It's a level seven normal dragon. So it doesn't have any monster effect, but it does have a pendulum effect. 
If an odd eyes card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can also summon one odd eyes monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only use this pendulum effect of odd eyes arc dragon once return. That's a really, really cool pendulum effect. I'm not gonna lie. Not to mention it's odd eyes, so there's God knows how many ways to search this card out. So definitely a good help for the odd eyes deck. And here's those alternate arts I was telling you guys about. So we got the alternate art Odd Eyes Pendulum, the alternate Starving Venom arts, and my favorite, the alternate Clear Wing. Now, this is my favorite art of Clear Wing. Like, honestly, the alternate arts are really cool, but for most of them, I still prefer the original arts, but not with Clear Wing. This by far is the better one. And the alternate Dark Rebellion. All right, now we get to our comments. We get more Odd Eyes. On this pendulum, we get the Supreme King, which I think is pretty cool. This right here, I think, is a pretty cool reprint, the Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. Because this was actually originally a manga promo. Which, for some reason, this card was cost more than the manga itself that you were guaranteed to get in. Which, I never understood why. But, I'm really glad we have this reprint. Same with Odd Eyes Persona. So glad we have this reprint, because this was also a jump promo. And there was actually a time where this card was almost $100, which... Was completely ridiculous. So you get two of those along with two two Phantom Dragons. You get two Mirage. You get a Light Phoenix, two Unicorn. You get Skulker Pat reprint here, which is really cool. And you get a lot of Performer Pop cards like Rango, You Go Golem. You got Noble Dragon Magician, Odd Eyes Gravity, two Sky Iris, Odd Eyes Fusion, Odd Eyes Advent. You get two Spiral Flame Strike, which is pretty cool. Two Duelist Alliance, which. As far as the Odd Eyes deck goes, this caught my eye the most as far as reprints went. Because we just got this as a secret rare in Maximum Crisis, and now they gave it to us as a common. So, really, really cool. Got the Pendulum spells. You got pen Pendulum Impenetrable. You got Storm. Pot of Riches. Terraforming. A very good card to have. Echo Oscillation. A couple Pendulum Reborns. Pendulum Switch. The Supreme King Servant Starving Dragon. I know it's not the actual name, but I always call them the Servant Dragons. Got yet another Odd Eyes Vortex. I uh, perform Pal Gatling Ghoul. Get Supreme King Clear Wing Dragon. Odd Eyes Meteor Burst. Supreme King Dark Rebellion. And Odd Eyes Absolute. Alright. Whew. Almost run out of breath there. But oh uh, yeah, again, really good for the deck. And with some pretty cool reprints here as well. Same thing with the Cyber. Drag, Cyber Dragon deck. Alright, now let's go to the source of the hype. The main reason why almost everyone is buying these right now. The Dark Magician side. Alright. So, this is the new card we're getting for Dark Magician. Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. A lot of you might think this is very similar to Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. So, that's where the idea came from. The future materials are a Dark Magician and a Dragon Monster. This card's name becomes Dark Magician while on the field or the graveyard. Which, that alone makes this fusion monster very good, but there's so much more to it. Your opponent cannot target spells and traps you control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. That is such a huge deal. Because, not only did Konami give us a new Dark Magician fusion monster, but... They actually addressed a lot of the problems Dark Magician had as a deck. Because the biggest thing with Dark Magician is Eternal Soul. Like that card is, no pun intended, the soul of the deck. But once you destroy Eternal Soul, once your opponent destroys Eternal Soul, it really, really hurts you. Not to mention you don't want your Dark Magical Circles destroyed either. And we never had really much of a way to protect our stuff until now. Now we got Dark Magician Dragon Knight, which protects our stuff from being destroyed and targeted. So. Really, really awesome here. And the fact that he counts his Dark Magician on the field and graveyard. So that means he gets Eternal Soul protection on the field. And when he sends to the graveyard, you could re-special summon him with Eternal Soul. So, it's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Definitely at least two of this card in your extra deck, if not three. Alright. And this was another big thing here. The, the reprint of Apprentice Illusion Magician. Now, this came out a couple months ago as a Shonen Jump promo. And, oh, boy, was this promo expensive. Like, I kid you not, there was literally a point in time where this promo was going for over $100 a card. Because it's also just such an amazing card for Dark Magician. Just, 
incredible. Like, it boosted up the deck so much, but it was so expensive that most people who were not subscribed to Show and Jump could not get their hands on it. I am very lucky that with this one card right here, that now makes a play set of Apprentice Illusion because two of mine are actually the original Show and Jump promos. But I was actually just going to give it up at two because getting, well, one of them I got the miracle of a lifetime with and it was given to me, but the other one I had to work really hard to get a good deal for. So I figured two was enough to break my back over, but now that we got this reprint and now have a play set, and not to mention, it's so much more affordable for us now. Still definitely happy about that. And also some other reprints we got here is Dark Magical Circle, Eternal Soul, and Magician Navigation. All right. Now, Eternal Soul came out la in the last year Legendary Dex as a Seeker Rare and has not been reprinted since. So it's pretty cool to have this reprint here, especially as an Ultra. Now, these two re were reprinted recently in our 2017 Megatons. So... That's a little shocking that they reprinted them again, but not too much because honestly, I'm not really complaining one bit because this now makes Dark Magician so much more affordable for players because while before, even with the Mega 10 reprints, it was still somewhat of an expensive deck minus the Imprentice Illusions because of course those were ridiculously expensive, but before the 2017 Mega 10 reprints, these were like $20 to $30 a piece and you need a play set of these, so... It was definitely not easy to be a Dark Magician player. But now it is because we literally have reprints of everything, every key item we need. So that is amazing. All right, so let's go over the deck here. So we get Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, standard stuff. We get Magician's Robe, play set, Dark Magician. We get two Magician's Rod, which is really cool. Oh, three skilled Dark Magician. Didn't expect that, but still pretty cool. Got Legendary Knight to Mize because this is technically the Legendary Knight deck. We got Critias, Hermos, Breaker Magical Warrior, Magical Exemplar, Big Shield Garna. Got the Absolute Crusader. So here, and here's where we get to our, our Dark Magician spells. We got Dark Magic Curtain. We got Illusion Magic. Pretty cool. Dark Magic Expanded. Inheritance. Another cool reprint to have. I mean, this was never an expensive, expensive card, but for a common and a structure deck, this thing actually did go for a couple bucks for a while, so eh, pretty cool. Got Thousand Knives, don't even remember the last time I used that one. Dark Magic Attack, the card that's been reprinted I don't know how many times. Eye of Tamias, very happy we got this reprint as a common now, because from the first Dragons of Legend set when this came out, this was literally anywhere between a $40 and a $70 card. Just because it was not only the secret rare, but it was incredibly low print. And it took us about two years till we got an ultra rare reprint in Dragons of Legend 3 as an ultra rare. And now we just have it as a common, which again, it just stresses much more just how much more affordable this deck is now. And I love it. Got the Fang of Critias, Claw of Hermos, Legend of Heart, Swords of Revealing Light, Pod Duality. Hey, not bad. We, we've got a Rota here. Nice. All right, so Dark Renewal. This actually came out in the first Legendary deck, and it's not, I don't want to say it's a bad trap for Dark Magician, I just feel like you don't really need to play this, because Navigation and Eternal Soul do it all for you, but if you want to play Dark Renewal, like I said, here's a quick little read of what it does, because I have reviewed this card uh, quite a few times before, but it's a pretty good card, not gonna lie, it's definitely not bad. Crush Card Virus, Mirror Force, don't really need to explain that. Got yeah, and Tyrant Ring is our last trap. Now for our extra deck, we have Dark Paladin, Amulet Dragon. First time I'm seeing this as a common. Guys, I actually do have the original Secret Rare from the from the first Dragons of Legend set. But this was also reprinted again in Dragons of Legend 3 as an Ultra Rare. And now we have it as a common. Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. We got Doom Virus Dragon, Tyrant Burst, Mirror Force Dragon, Time Magic Hammer. Rocket Hermos Cannon, Goddess Bow, and Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. Whew. All right, guys. So that has been all of the decks that come in the newest Legendary Dragon decks. And I said it once, I'll say it again. This is by far the best Legendary deck they have 
print it out for us just because there's so many good cards in here, so many good reprints, and a lot of the new cards do really help out their perspective archetypes quite a bit, especially this. Like, I honestly think Dark Magician now has a shot for tier two competitive play, at least for a little while because of this card right here. So, so good. Fix this, again, I can't stress enough how many problems with Dark Magician that this card now fixes. So excited. And I'm definitely going to be doing a Dark Magician deck profile as soon as I get everything I need. Because the only thing that's being a little difficult for me are these spell book of knowledges, but I'll work to get those. So, if you guys enjoyed this little review of the Legendary Dragon decks, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hopefully I'll start putting up videos a little more often again. I, I do apologize once again for this delay. And I thank you all so much for being so patient with me. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. So, this has been Magician's Descendants, and you duelists, have a good day.